in the kitchen again with Chef Ricardo cooking show, guys. We all know that it's coming up to Valentine's days, you know, I mean, February 14. I know today is just the 18th of January, but a lot of people start to prepare for Valentine for the lovers. But I'm gonna be starting releasing a few recipes of how you can make something special for Valentine's Day. Secret recipes, secret ideas, and stuff. So I have some salmon which I have, and I want to use up my salmon. To do something with it and the only thing come to my mind is to do a valentine recipe with it and i know it will come out lovely and nice so i want to do a garlic salmon and i'm gonna be pan frying it all right so basically i shall get my grater and a teaspoon and also tongs and clips and all these things you know what i mean then what I'm going to do, I have a lot more stuff I'm going to show you guys as we go along. First of all, we need to get two cups of garlic and simple, just grate it. Because once you grate the garlic like this, honestly, it will just automatically come out of the back. And it's just lovely and nice. Take off it with a teaspoon, a simple scrape it off, and that's it. Alright, I got some fine onion which I just chopped up earlier. I'm going to pop a few fine onion. I got some thyme. I'm just going to be scraping off the thyme like this. I'm not going to be using the stock of the thyme. I just need the thyme bit from it. Alright, lovely. Um, I've got the Jamaican volley season, which I'm going to be using. This is the fish season. And I'm going to pop half teaspoon of it. I've got the Jamaican volley also jerk seasoning. I'm going to put a little bit just for the spices. Nice one. Uh, what I'm going to do is pop a little bit of oil on it and also have a medium sized frying pot on the stove I'm going to pop a little bit of vegetable oil or olive oil whatever oil I like to use is up to you guys use your hand and simple you don't need no season on this alright so easy and simple the way I'm going to be doing this salmon and it's going to be a pan fried salmon so basically I'm going to be showing you now Oh, you must lay your salmon in the frying pan for it to come out lovely and nice. All right, that's it doesn't break up and it's gonna be tasteable. All right, so first of all, marinate your salmon. You don't need a whole lot of salt and you know what I mean, all these things. Then what we're going to do, I'm just gonna crack a little bit of pepper on it. And we can pop some more as we fry goes along on this other side. All right, guys, so as I say, as I can see right there just put them in and just want to fry them like this and you know what I mean they had a rest done please guys use gloves it's very important I'm just gonna turn it over to the other side because I don't want the salmon to break up so I'm trying my best not to break the salmon and I'm gonna just hold it to the other side like this firmly that means that doesn't breaks and they will fry really nice and lovely all right as you can see exactly what's going on right there with that nice lovely smell really lovely and nice nice and lovely so you see I'm taking my one little time and frying the salmon all right so basically I'm gonna just turn it over to the other side and to the other side like this Because you know what happened? I just don't want the salmon to be break up. That's what I'm look, running from. So I'm gonna just simple. Take my one little time and keep frying it like that. That should be lovely and nice. But anyway, I need to get this one even turn over to the other side. So if I turn it over. Yeah, perfect. 
Lovely and nice. Let's crack a little bit more to at this. That will be nice. This is just a little bit of sweet chili sauce, which I'm going to just simply run on top of it like this. That's, this is just some sweet chili sauce come with the salmon, you know, and I just decided to use it up. So that definitely will be bringing a lovely flavor to it. Nice and lovely. So what I'm gonna do? Just for a few seconds, all right? Nice and lovely. So let's see. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah. Turn off my stove. What we're going to do is shear it out. I'm gonna shear it out on a plate so that you guys can see exactly what's going on. This one's going to be with some sweet potato mash with a lot more stuff with it. Alright, so let's check it out and see it look. Nice and lovely guys. So basically I have my plate right here and I'm going to shear out a lovely meal this evening for the fans them this is what you can make for your lady for Valentine's day let's give you some tips and ideas all right don't tell him that you saw a chef recorder make it and you want to do your own thing you're gonna say this was on chef recorder youtube channel all right first thing i did some broccoli earlier um, i cook off some broccoli and this is a broccoli right here we're gonna lay it on the plate like this guys all right I'm gonna show you how you can surprise your wife or your girlfriend this time. Make them have a special time for Valentine. All right, so this is gonna be a very special Valentine recipe from Chef Ricardo towards the fun zone. All right, so basically, lay it right on it like this, and like this. All right, guys. Remember, you know. It's a surprise for your missus for Valentine and you want to make sure it is perfectly set it right and nice all right guys so please do it right surprise them I have some red onion which I did earlier and I'm gonna just pop a little bit of the red onion on top of it like this all right this red onion they just cut up some red onion and just put a little bit of honey and a little bit of um little bit of you can put a little bit of salt on it if you like a little bit of pepper second thing i have some this is some sauce which i make earlier and i'm going to put a little bit of sauce on top of it like this just to show off with a little bit of red color and that's gonna bring in a lovely flavor to you guys honestly all right to the salmon and everything lovely and nice um the salsa it got tomato red onion and also pepper and olive oil 
and spring onion. All right, guys, so it's a very, very easy one to make. I will put the link in the description box how to make the salsa. Awesome. Second thing, I have some mashed potato, which I'm going to be just put at the side like this. This is um, sweet mashed potato, guys. All right. It's just something, you know what I mean, different and more unique. That's what I want to give the fans them for Valentine this time. All right, guys. So please, please subscribe. I have the pudding next gonna come up. Also, all right, and pop a little bit of spring onion and thing on top of it, just like this for garnish. All right, guys. Anyway. Happy Valentine for all of the ladies, eh? you know what I mean? Husband, come on, you need to treat your wife, your girlfriend, someone special this time for Valentine, guys, you know what I mean? As you can see, the recipe which I just did is amazing, it's fantastic, it's something very easy, simple, and light to make. I don't know you guys can make this one at home, alright guys? Thank you so much for watching Chef for Cutter Show, got a lot more recipes, we got a lot more ideas. And a lot more things will be coming this Valentine. So please stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We will be giving you a lot more recipe. Garlic salmon with sweet mashed potato. And you know what I mean? Broccoli and all these things. Very nice and simple and easy to make. The sweet potato. Oh, you make the sweet potato mash. You just get some sweet potato. Put a one potato in it. Mash it. And that's it with some uh, the unsalted butter. Um, or you can use salted butter, whatever butter you want to use. Put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and mash it. All right, so enjoy the recipe, stay tuned, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Nice and lovely, guys. As you can see, I sheer it out and I just put it on my table to make the fans them see exactly what's going on with a glass of wine with some strawberry. As I said, ladies, need to get some treat this Valentine. And we will be coming with a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas. Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. And please stay tuned. Don't go nowhere. We've got a lot more recipes and a lot more ideas will be coming. This is from Chef Ricardo on the team. And stay tuned. See you next time. Bye-bye.